You know how they say go big or go home? With fuel tanks, I listened. That tells you how cold it is here in New York State. Oh, he didn't like that, huh, girl? It's gonna automatically try to start again. It's gonna, it'll keep trying, that's funny. I would have never guessed that it would keep trying. Never would have guessed that. I've ran into a slight problem. The, the truck did impress me by continuing to start. Well, maybe not more confusing than impressing me because I did push the brake, which should have like stopped everything from doing its thing so that I could just let the glow plugs to run a little longer. But now I put my keys in the ignition and it's locked. Front, back. Luckily, I do have spares in the house, but it's kind of goofy or, or maybe I just have to get used to it. That is not good at all. Oh, there we go. Ever since I moved into my shop, I haven't come in here very often at all, which is nuts because I, I grew up in here, right? It, it's 100 feet from my door. And literally, I don't come in here anymore, which is, it's just nuts to me. But I, I needed to come in here because I'm looking for a chain and uh, I needed to grab a few other things while I saw them. Like, for example, this broom. I think my springs may need to be adjusted. That's fine, we can add that to the list too. Yes, it's cold even in here. Remember when I first started vlogging, like after I, I built up a, a clientele from dirt biking, that's, that's what really got me on the platform. I, it was up to like 60,000 subscribers, then I went to 100,000, 200,000 with moto vlogging. Still wanna go to Aspen? Oh yeah. And then from there, I kinda went to, to vlogging, you know, everyday vlogging, daily vlogging. So, so we're gonna let that. Saying that I do wanna make five to seven videos a week, and just have a hell of a good time. Here we come. I can finally feel my fingers. Now that it is warming up, I want to talk to you guys. I'm always fascinated when I meet you guys and and I ask you like, how, how did you find me? And you all say different things. I'm installing these hook things. I, I'm sick of just throwing my jack around. Some people say it was the brat board. Some people say it's the BMW. Some say it was dirt biking and moto vlogging. There we go. And then some people say it's snowmobiling. I don't really need this. I can... That is a little better. It's not 30 degrees in here anymore. So my shelf, this shelf, this American flag shelf, is not just an American flag, it actually has a purpose beyond showing my respect for this country. It holds stuff, and I'm looking for a chain. This is not gonna be long enough. It is, however, a stuff. Still can't find the chain. I even looked in this tote here, and I found a whole bunch of tools that I've been missing, so I'm glad I, I looked there. Still no chain though. The last time that you guys saw my chain was when I was pulling that guy out of the ditch. Now every time I look in the rear view mirror, I think of when that cop pulled me over. Actually, I don't think you guys saw that. Yeah, you might want to start following me on Instagram. There, there's one last place that I haven't looked, and that is the BMW. I missed the, <laughs> the entrance to the, the field because it's really slippery out. So I don't know how much hope I really have for today, if we can even get this project done. I want to pull this one truck that I've had for a long time in the woods, out of the woods. I don't want to, but my, my uncle wants me to. Came up on it a little too quick. 
Okay, this time we made it. Field goal! That's not my truck. I wish it was. It'd be easy to get to. Uh, drifting her. Drifting pretty good. Oh, make the turn. Uh, we can still move in two-wheel drive, which is good. Oh, have you guys even seen my bumper yet? Check it out. I built that. I got proof. Why? Is your name on it? Yes, it is. Like I said before, it's powder coated, so that thing should last forever. Is it in here? Come on, this is the only place it could possibly be. No dice. Do the old kick. Not sure where it's gonna be. I'm gonna put it in the four wheel. You know what? I'm getting stupid. feel better. There's the truck. The snow can be a helper and it can it's gonna make it a it's gonna make it suck. It's really nice that uh, people blew out all the windows. Some complete jackass for the gas tank out of that thing. I hope it was filled with like debris so that it clogged their fuel injector. It's probably gonna be frozen to the ground. Verdict, the Duramax can move this piece of junk. The only thing is, is this isn't a tow truck. Like it's, it's not like the best truck ever either, but it's got a, a nice paint job, well, an expensive paint job. And, and, it's, and it's my daily driver. This thing on the other hand is only worth probably 150 bucks. And there's no way I can get around. There's no way I can like pull this way because I don't have any room. Now the question is, is the Duramax stuff? Okay, so that wasn't like the best thing ever. This thing's got all brakes. But after all, we got to do this. That was fun, and we got a new chain. Actually, I gotta go to the bank. I understand if a few of you think that, you know, for the last couple months, 3D Machines has been kind of loopy, and I, com I completely understand where you're coming from. And, and today I finally realized that you guys weren't watching me to be entertained. You were watching to relate. You were watching because you liked what I did. And two days ago, yesterday's vlog for you guys, uh, Jason, Jake, and I talked about building something new. Now, now the trouble is, well, we're not going to get into the troubles. Um, we, we found solutions. Let's let's focus on the solutions. I don't like this camera position. We ran some numbers on the other hand. Trying to figure out what's the next move. Like, what is 3D Machines gonna do next? I do believe we came up with it and, and my girlfriend's excited about it. Jason's excited about it. Jake's excited about it. Everybody should get excited about it. Now, I'm not gonna like try to pump you up and be like, oh, you know, it's gonna be the best thing ever. You will see when it comes in. Like, that's what I went down to the bank for. I have purchased this thing, but the way the process is, is it might take a few days. It might, it might be tomorrow. It might be two, three, four days from now. Um, they wanted to deliver it to me. I, I'm like, no way. We're going to put the machines and the machine freaks it before anybody. We're not going to let that time get in the way. We're just going to go over there and drive and go get it. The reason why I was getting rid of that Chevy, actually, you guys might not even know about the Chevy. Roll a clip of the Chevy. Getting rid of that because I'm, I'm cutting ties that we do no longer need. So we're we're cutting we're cutting dead ends to produce you know nice 
Okay, that's a head metaphor. Um, we need to use some assets that we have, cash them in to make newer, better assets. 